Hey, Michael Kerr here. I have a question for you. Are you making room for the introverts on your team when you brainstorm? I talk a lot about high energy fun, even goofy ways to brainstorm in teams. And some of those ideas, the extroverts probably love them, but the introverts, let's face it, yeah, maybe not so much. And I can relate because I'm actually an introvert most of the time. 30 to 50% of the population are introverts. So are you making sure that when you brainstorm, when you have these activities in your meetings, you're making it comfortable for the introverts, that you're also getting engagement from the introverts and not missing out on the great ideas that they may have, but they're just maybe a little uncomfortable participating or speaking up with a larger group. So do what some companies do perhaps. Some companies, when they brainstorm, they go back and forth between group activities, group brainstorming, and then everyone breaking off and thinking about idea brainstorming individually. And then they regroup as a group, and then they go back individually, and then they come back again as a group. And that's really important if you want to make sure you are getting those ideas from the introverts and just giving people time as well to ruminate on these ideas and to just think about them in a quiet space. A very simple thing you can also do, even if you only have seven or eight, nine people in a meeting, is to break up that meeting into smaller pods of just two or three people to brainstorm ideas. Introverts are far more likely to speak up and get engaged if they're in a much smaller pod of people of just two or three people. So what about you? Are you doing anything to engage your introverts? I would love to hear your ideas, your suggestions, your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my Inspiring Workplaces channel, please hit the subscribe button. Join our growing community as we talk about rocking workplaces.